Hi, I'm Nigel Lane and I teach fifth class here at St Corbin's. As part of the Living Schools Lab project, we focus on introducing mobile devices, namely iPads, to teaching and learning in our school. We were lucky last year to have had a loan of 30 iPods from the Computers and Education Society of Ireland. A number of classes used these iPods at the time and they were very well received by staff and students alike. They were very easy to introduce to the classroom and were useful right across the curriculum. On the strength of this, we decided this year to purchase 16 iPads. We also got a MacBook Pro, which is used to sync the iPads and to transfer new content. We purchased a charge and sync trolley with removable baskets to carry the iPads. This has been particularly useful for us as some of our classes are in prefabs outside the main building and they would not be easy to access with the trolley. We got a VGA adapter which allows you to display one iPad on the interactive whiteboard and an Airport Extreme which is a wireless router. I've used the iPads extensively in, with my class. They've become very familiar and comfortable with their use. Um, we've used them to produce written content for our blog. We do reading comprehension, practice maths facts, and we look at apps for science, history, geography, there's great content there. The Safari browser allows you to access the internet. And we've also used the built-in camera along with a presentation app called Haiku Deck to create maths trails from around the school. Tablet devices are ideal for this kind of work because they're an all-in-one device. Uh, you don't have to mess around with memory cards or USB cables transferring images from a digital camera onto a PC to then create the content. You can do it all on the tablet device. Overall, the introduction of iPads into teaching and learning here at St. Corbin's has been hassle-free and has been met with enthusiasm by staff and students alike. Here's what some of them have to say. Do you think iPads are a good idea in schools? Yeah, I think they're pretty good and that they are a fun way to learn about continents and places all around the world. Okay, and are there any limitations do you think? Are there things that an iPad doesn't really do very well? Well, you can't exactly type up documents like you could do on PowerPoint or Microsoft Word. Okay. I do. I really agree with them. You agree with them? Okay. Have you enjoyed using the iPad so far? Yes, I have enjoyed using the iPad. And what have you enjoyed doing? Playing this is sad. Because it's very creative. I have enjoyed using the iPad so far as well. And the apps I enjoy are more than maths and art apps rather than the English apps. Okay. Um, do you think iPads are a good idea for schools? Yes. And why is that? Because it's a good, good in way to learn. To learn. A good way to learn. I think iPads are a good idea in school because they don't require ch children tired from using their hands to write and some children don't particularly like writing. So I think iPads are they're another way to work. Okay, so they're a good alternative. Okay. Have you enjoyed using the iPad so far? Yes, I enjoyed using the iPad. Anything in particular that we've done? Yeah, I really like uh, Sky. Sky Guys. It's really helpful for learning about space. Uh, I enjoyed using iPads, especially the astronomy apps like Sky Guide and uh, Mass Do. Uh, okay. Um, are there any limitations to iPads, do you think? Like any things that they're not very good at or not very useful for? Sometimes, if you're using them for Irish, it could say your spelling, spellings are wrong, and then you could spell it wrong, and the iPad says that's right, which would make you spell Irish wrong, and your teacher will give up. Have you enjoyed using the iPad so far? Yeah, I have, used it. I have enjoyed using the iPad, because I think they're a good way to get away from writing. Okay. Are there any apps or activities or anything we've done so far that you particularly liked? Well, you like using the air phones, because... Okay. 
Do you think iPads are good for schools? Yeah, because now I'm playing games and stuff on them. But just say 20 years later, I'll probably be designing stuff for Apple. Are there any limitations to iPads? Do you think there's, you know, are there things iPads aren't very good at? Yeah, 